Hi everyone. Now, what I'm going to be doing here, well, what I'm actually doing at the moment, is uh, I'm filling this box here. Now, this box is going to be fly full of flies that are used a lot in the lakes and the lochs of the UK and Ireland. Uh, very popular styles like dial backs, crunchers, I've got obviously cormorants at the top here. These are all very good patterns uh, that work and give suggestive type patterns. Uh, they give impression of mainly midge, to be honest with you, in these cases. Uh, mayfly, that sort of thing. Uh, even small pin fry, I've got this dial back here that's uh, a very good uh, pin fry type pattern. Uh, and now within, uh, if I say, the, within the international rules, if you went to fish competitions. And these are popular sizes, 10s and 12s. And uh, that, I mean, these patterns are uh, well tested and very popular with many of the people that I know that fish these waters. Anywhere for the UK, I mean, up here in Scotland, the, the best known uh, still water would be, uh, it's a lake actually, it's the only lake in Scotland, it's called the Lake of Menteith. The lochs, best known would be the Loch Leven, which is a great water, wild brownies and so on. And they'll take these flies. Uh, very, and I say they're very popular, and the colour combinations are good. The one I'm tying, I'm going to be tying a couple, like uh, tie this one first. This is just a small, I'll just zoom in a bit. This is just just a black dull back with a good a hot orange cheek, just to give impression of wing buds. It's a very good pattern, uh, it's right out through the season, depending on the size you tie. And it's quite simple to tie. Now, hook choice is up to yourself. I'm using, which is very popular, a uh, hook between uh, the full and mill hook. This is a competition all round, uh, competition heavyweight, sorry. Uh, or the other one would be the Camasan 175. But the, the full and mills, they're the same hook, really. They're the exact same. Uh, the same weight of hook, same wire, that type of thing. Same style. So, whatever one you like. Now, as I say, 10s and 12s are the two most popular sizes. Uh, in this case, this is a size 12. The thread I'm going to be using is red, and in this case, Uni 80. Now, wax the thread just to get it pinned to grip. I'm just going to remove the waste, just ping it off, and take the thread to just slightly by the point of the hook. Then I'm going to use, and this is just dyed black cock hackle. This is going to be for the tail. Very simple, just to lift out some of the fibres. Uh, the tips will naturally line up and then tear them away. Now you're looking at like a tail length, around at least the body length. Just tie over the back, lay it on the top, a couple of turns, heading down the way. So you're heading, these turns are heading down. So we've got our tail, so this the length of the body. Now there's going to be a head of some light bright, so leave enough up here, at least a couple of mil. Now the rib of the fly, I'm using a tinsel, silver tinsel, a small. This is proper tinsel, so it's got plenty of strength. Let me catch it on. This kid now I'm heading back up. Now I'm just going to quickly tie this down, tidy things up, and then on the way back down, I'm going to get hold of. This is just strong. If you buy this from Vineyards, this is dyed black. In this case, peacock arrow. I need two strands. I just pull out two. It's going to line up the ends. And the way back down, I'm just going to tie them in. Right up towards the tail. Bring the thread back up. Now, the herald's the weakest fibre, uh, and plus there's two, thing, two things happens when you tie it this way. Now, I wind the thread away from myself as well as the rib. Now, when I wind in a weak fibre like this, I always wind it towards myself, because when you rib the fly, it'll catch, it'll cross over and catch it in more. But the other thing it does, it basically sits better, you'll see the rib far better. So it will because it's the way it's tied in. If you have wind something the same way and you take up a rib, it will sit into the grooves or into the fibre and disappear slightly. And this way it actually shows up better. But to lock it in, you have to basically come over it with a turn 
and then do a turn onto the hook which separates those two. Do the same again, you only need a couple of times. Trim that away, leave it a wax, then we bring the rib up the normal way I wind my thread. As you see, it sits nice. Do a turn near the head and tie over that three or four turns and keeping the thread tight, I bend and break away the tinsel. And there we are. And that's your body. Now in this, what I'm going to be doing is a, I used a cock hackle for the tail, now I'm going to use a hen hackle for the throat. In this case it's a, just a dye black again, hen hackle. Just bring enough out, just line up the ends by pulling it straight from the stem. You're basically looking for a length much, so I usually stay within the body length. I just hold the tips, threads hanging straight down, do a pinch and loop up the way, a couple of turns. At this point I make sure it's sitting where I want. You can check, that's fine. Keep the thread away by using your finger. So the finger, just use your finger to take the thread away. Or if you can actually do it, take it like there. Just turn the hook sideways. Come in with a, a nice sharp pair of scissors. Trim. Tidy up. There we are. There I'm going to put wing, uh, an sort of impression of wing buds on this. I'm going to use this floss here. This is Unifloss in neon hot orange. It's a, you can see a fluorescent orange. Neon is good, good colour, especially for a bit of pupa. It's quite simple. So we've got the length here. I just offer the length we would like to see, and I'm going to do it your side. So Hold it with your finger, coming round with a couple of turns, reasonably loose, not too heavy. Now you see the position of it, if it's too high, in this case it is, just, just use your nail to bring it down to the side. That's fine. Now I'm going to take the thread up, not completely towards the eye, not right up. And then I'm going to bring the thread, the floss to the side and slightly up. And then I'm going to wind the thread and at this point, as I head towards the top of the, the body, I just bring it to the side where I want it. And then I can see the, the length I want, just trim. Just a bit. You can see, there's your, your ring buds. Now, I'm going to put a head of some, this is, this is black UV uh, light bright. Or diamond bright is a good one. So I'm just going to lightly dub it on. You don't want too much. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the thread, stretch the thread to the eye, do a couple of turns and then offer it up. And I'm going to work my way up towards the bucking buds so I can see what I'm doing. And then coming back through, you want a nice reasonable head of the light bright. Mitch people have Quite a bulbous head type, just because that's where the body is going to be opening out when it's hatching. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just using my fingers like Velcro really. I'm going to draw back the fibres, two or three turns. Now I'm just going to put a tiny bit of varnish just on my thread here. And then work finish. Turn my thread away, and there we are. And there you go, that's the dial back, just a black dial back with the orange cheeks. Very simple, very simple flight of tie, uh, <coughs> but a very effective pattern, a great style, which can be tied any colour, as you probably see, and I've got quite a few colours. So, anyway, there we are. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'm going to be tying, as I say, two or three. Put them on individually, I'll be uploading them onto, onto YouTube for you to see. So as I say, I hope you enjoyed that and give it a go. And uh, I'm sure you're not going too far wrong with it. <laughs>